Amazon Kindle Scribe Review The Kindle Scribe is equipped with excellent hardware but unfortunately is hindered by inferior software. Joining the ranks of the Kindle DX, Kindle Scribe is the first large format Kindle to break away from its typical designation as a singularly reading device. Though it is a noteworthy effort, it clearly illustrates that this product can only be classified as entry level. The design is similar to the Kindle Oasis but without the indent on the back for a hand to rest. The screen has also been shifted to one side, allowing for a thicker bezel on the other side. With this alteration, the device can sit smoothly on a table when someone needs to write. Unfortunately, it's not as comfortable to hold it for longer reading sessions. The touchscreen is present but it does not have page turning buttons which the Oasis model has. Also, it does not have an IP rating to shield it from water and dust particles. On the brighter side, the device retains its high-end metal body composed of 100% recycled aluminum. Topping off at 10.2 inches, it is larger than any other available Kindle and cannot be operated in one hand. The display itself has many classic Kindle characteristics. The antique layer monochromatic e-ink technology makes reading easy and reduction-free. Text is ultra-sharp with a resolution of 300 ppi, and the 35 LED lights encircling the display supply illumination in dim conditions. The backlight is superb due to its many LEDs, providing a consistent brightness without any harsh darker, or brighter patches that are common in less expensive Kindles. Furthermore, the light setting can be adjusted between very bright to very dark and the warmth can be changed to make nighttime reading more comforting. This display isn't suitable for activities such as watching videos or browsing the web, so if those are the uses you want a tablet for, this isn't the right device. Despite its good hardware, the Scribe has little to offer in terms of note-taking software, making it difficult to recommend for most users. The same software found in the rest of the Kindle family is employed here as well, but with an extra notebook section and an increased size of all design elements. Even though alright with the software on other Kindles, it mainly lingers in the shadows. Located at the bottom of the home screen, the Notebooks tab is where everything you write is stored. You can make new notebooks with a range of pages, options such as line, dotted, and more, or start up folders to store those notebooks in. Unfortunately, you are unable to create folders inside of other folders. The Kindle device offers an outstanding reading experience. With its large screen, it can really bring books to life, especially cookbooks, comics, and reference books. Amazon Kindle has superior offerings to Kobo, such as audible audiobooks that are compatible with Bluetooth devices. The remarkable tablet lacks these features. E-Ink makes the scribe's battery life persist for multiple weeks, instead of needing a charge daily or weekly. This is part of why it works so well for this type of device. Even with my frequent note-taking and reading activities and the brightness set to maximum level with Wi-Fi turned off and less needed, the battery was still at 48% after two weeks. The USB-C charging option replaces the wireless charging feature found on the Paperwhite Signature Edition.